personally quite nice. So I can hear the uh, road noise though. Yeah, and I can hear the, uh, it, it, it sounds like you're sitting either on your windowsill or outside your window, honestly. Yeah, I'm about a foot and a half, the laptop's a foot and a half. Oh, well, that'd explain it. Oh, boy. It looks like there's two jobs from Oxnard to Trim, but it's going to require some hazard. I don't know what, where your hazard is. Uh, I can't remember. I haven't played this profile in so long. It's like level one, so I would imagine it's bad. Oh, I should hopefully have it. Yeah, there's nitrocellulose, which I believe is the highest level. So I could haul that, and I think you can get the solvents. Well, I'll see when I get there. Are we looking external, or...? Oh, sorry. That's a freight market. Gotcha. They each pay nine grand. It's $27 a mile. Not bad. I might go external because the the internal freight market. I always have trouble f getting it to pull up all the time. Yeah, see, uh, Plus, I like the that it actually logs on my uh, World of Trucks account. So. You can totally pick up that trim job on the external contracts. All right, let me uh, pull off here since I think I'm now within reach of Oxnard as far as uh, the. Yeah, let's see. All right. Synchronizing. Prim. Begin delivery. Ooh. Aromatics. Paying twenty six oh three a mile. Mm. I literally just was over by where the pickup point is for this. Oops. So I've put a couple percentage points of damage onto the truck since jumping back in. Already? Yep. So I'm up to I think like 8% now. Scratched the paint, man. Dude, no. My truck hit the wall, and somehow the excavator on the trailer got broken. And I'm like, pretty sure that excavator was broken before, because if an excavator... <laughs> like, yeah, right? Literally, my truck took the man. It'd be like... It, it, that means I busted the mount point where the chain was hooked or something. Like, let's think about this. Yeah, something screwy there. Yeah, and I was literally just up here at the scenic rest stop and started headed for the uh, Oxnard and then uh, stopped and now I got to go all the way back. Dude, there was a train of four people headed the other way. Yeah, where's your pickup point? No, mine is as well. What's your uh, pickup company? Well, don't crash trying to look it up. As I said. <laughs> oh, oh, are you? I think you must be on the same road I am. It's like. You, you must be on the same one I am on. There's, there's a rest stop at the top. Right.
This has got to be the longest one-way highway I've ever seen. Oh, that little goat trail, it's a two-way. No. Yeah, because if it's the same one I'm thinking of, I just went the other direction on it and then turned, had to turn around on it. It's kind of like cement buried or something. Yeah. I literally cannot see shit. Nighttime is too black. Um, have you ever been in the real world at night? Well, uh, turn the lights on. Specifically at, like, intersections and shit? Yeah, that's always a little bit of a problem. Yeah, like, I don't care driving down the highway. Like, that's understandable. But, like, at intersections, because I just don't trust my render distance in multiplayer and online and lag, you know? Well, I use, I always use the map because you get the blue dots, remember? Yeah. I was. Um, I'm actually at the pickup point. I'm going to make the assumption that you're probably picking up in the same spot. Is it, uh, what kind of, what kind of material is it? Um, I mean, I'm in a tanker trailer. It's it's the Chems pickup point. But there's a ton of trailers around this here. Is job. Yeah, I'm doing a Chems job. Yeah, this is definitely a Chems job. Okay, then I will uh, hold stationary until you arrive. Yeah, you're definitely going down the same goat trail I did. Yeah, well that's what I was running into. Is like, I can't drink my beer and drive. <laughs> now remember, kids, don't drink and drive. We're what you call experts? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't try this at all. Christina's parents came up uh, for the weekend, and uh, they were like, David, you should come up to South Lake Breakers and we'll watch the Northern Lights. I was like, okay. And so uh, they were like, I told Christine, I'm like, you know, we're we bringing some beer and stuff, or are we laying low? And she said, oh, yeah, we're bringing beer. And so I come back downstairs, and her dad's like, David, is this your, your Labatt Blue on the fridge? And I'm like, yeah, I had like a 30 rack. And he started pulling beers out of it, and he started pulling a lot of beers out. So I'm like, oh, dang, dude, this is going to be awesome. All right. So we filled up on the beers, you know. We grabbed some ginger ales for uh, Christine's little mm -hmm. sister. And then I grabbed some Captain Morgan spiced rum in a flask, and I'd have her drink like part of a can of ginger ale, and then I'd fill the rest with the Captain. And so, like, literally every time Steve they buy beer for, for us, you know, and wouldn't let me hang out. And they probably drank, like, uh, six of my beers or something. <laughs> Three or four of my ginger ales, which, like, I don't care, because they probably paid for about, you know, 20 or 30 of my beers that they bought me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I come home, and there's a six-pack of November Gale, much nicer than the Matt Blue. And then uh, they bought me another 12-pack right this is awesome that you're actually your your trailer's in the spot next to my trailer Doesn't get much better than that. not at all what no this is the same paint job I've had uh yeah Truck's no different than uh, when you saw it last. <laughs> what are you knocking on your uh, yellow Kenworth there? Oh. License plates, Huskies company. 
<laughs> nice. I like my engine brake. I'm not a huge retarder fan. See, I like clicking the auto retard button. That helps a lot. Because I don't, I don't have any buttons left on my Xbox controller, and I don't want to have to reach for the keyboard every time the engine brake. Gotcha. Otherwise, I'd say, oh yeah. Dude, it's busy tonight. Surprising. Yeah, no kidding. Holy crap. <laughs> there is quite a gaggle. Yeah, yesterday I think was about 250 because I was playing multiplayer yesterday. I wanted to, but the uh, the interweb said no. What? Yeah, and for whatever reason, uh, looks like a cluster up here. Yeah, I, I turned the uh, the CB off for me. So I'm just going to turn the flashers on just so everybody knows behind me that there is uh, shit going on up here. Alright. Right. Yeah, because there's somebody else behind me now, too. Yeah, right? Starting to run out of patience. Alright, so what what are you hauling? I'm hauling uh, nit nitrocellulose. Alright, and I'm hauling aromatics. Yeah, nitrocellulose. Ah. It's, it's, uh, it's high level explosive. It's got like the, this is like the top level, cannot get any more hazardous. Yeah, I saw you had the striped diamond on your trailer. Uh, I think it's only red and white stripes. Oh, I thought it was blue and white on top and red on the bottom. I'll have to take a look at it again. I think it's just, I think the, uh, that high hazard one is red and white stripes. We'll take a look. Yeah, regardless, we're headed, I think, probably to the same destination as far as drop-off point, too. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Uh, Chemso Limited. All right, so it's just it's a convoy delivery we have going on. I have the fluids, you have the solids, apparently. That's a serious bomb making shit. Yep. <laughs> this game still continues to amaze me at how beautiful it is. Play on what? Oh yeah, no, it's just because it released today, so they haven't pushed the uh, update yet. Usually takes only a few days, really. So I'd expect at least you know by next week we'll be on it. It usually is. You know, it, I don't know. It, like, some of the more complex ones do take a little bit longer, but I wouldn't expect this to be complex. But I guess we shall wait and see. Do you know how to do mod and paint jobs for trucks and trailers? Um, I could probably figure it out since I know how to do it with Flight Sim. Dude, I totally want to do a, uh, a Smokey and the Bandit paint job. <laughs> nice. Put the horses on the side and everything. That'd be so cool. The thing is, I don't think you can use them in multiplayer because they're considered an additional mod. Really? I feel like that's the place to use them. 
Well, well, it, you might be able to use it, but it might not show up to everybody else. I don't know. But though, with the trailer update thing, then who knows? Maybe. Well, yeah, for the 1.4. Well, that's where the GPS says to go anyway. I like how you turned on your left turn signal before you even got off the highway. <laughs> Cut that corner pretty tight. Yeah, I did. I had too tight. I mean, completely. So, I talked with, uh, talked with our crew today. Um, from, uh, well, what will be our panic because we're going through a name change. Right. What's up, Danny? You got off your homework? Yeah. Hi. Patrick says hi, Danny. You're totally ignoring the stick. I'm sorry, Patrick. Love you too. <laughs> you don't need to watch Top Gear. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like she's into it that much. I mean what? Like we're not even letting you look at Top Gear or anything, it's awesome. So looking at your diamond, uh it is definitely vertical red and white stripes. Okay, I can't. Gotcha. That's not the highest level. The highest level is black with white. And I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. I'll take a look. So this is a flammable solid. And that's why I have um, dangerous when wet combined with flammable solid. So that's why it's blue. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, is it just red and white stripes? Just red and white stripes is what you got. Oh, because class four includes three placards, it combines the red and white with the blue in the skills area. Gotcha. So, um, so this is a flammable solid. The highest level is corrosive, and it looks like it has like a bowl head almost in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be like corroding through a thing. Because um, I've got a flammable three. Fluid. Alright. I don't need it, but I figure I'm gonna top up while we're here. Alright. Did you ever use your axle lifter? No. I didn't know I had one. Well I mean I in Euro Truck I have. Yeah, they're they're here. I don't have one. Well, the thing is, I don't have one on in, on my truck, and I don't have one on most of the trailers, so... Really? It seems like people were talking about it online. Well, it's possible they were. So on my I think I've pinched it. Yeah, that's... Dude, okay, let's be completely honest, Patrick. How many fucking gas stations for semi-trucks look like this? Uh, none. Well, maybe one. Right, so I'm gonna back over here. I think I'm gonna go try to shoot through the center. Cause it's like the sign's in an awful spot. Oh yeah. Like I think I pinch on that sign more often than not. Yeah, you have to go center if you get pinched. Generally you can still get a little Oh that was probably not good for the load. <laughs> Dude, you're number 48. You got on multiplayer early. I did. You're number 45. That doesn't make any sense. Nope. It's probably just whatever slot was open when you hop on. You gonna make it this time? Probably, now that I pulled off to the right there. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this. But, wait, wait. Oh. Um, 
There we go. We're good. <laughs> Dude, two percent damage right there. <laughs> oh jeez. I have 1% damage on the trailer, 9% on the truck. I had 8 though to start the thing, but I've got 1% damage on the trailer, probably from scraped paint. Dude, I can't believe it fucked that trailer up that much. I just barely hit it at 10 miles an hour. I don't know, from my side, it sure jostles around pretty good. Yeah, dude, it moved around a lot. People are going to think I'm a drunk. You're not? Yeah, you're weaving all over the road already. How many have you had? I was watching this. Yeah, I was trying to get my cruise set before I forgot that it was 30. Too focused. Yay, flashing yellow. Yeah, that's why I love this game. <laughs> In multiplayer. I mean, technically, if you're turning left, you got to still slow, but we know where the traffic is because of the map. Yeah, I think that was an X to the right. It was. Oh, okay, I see. You're solid. All right, Barstow, here we come, apparently. Oh man, look at this hill coming up. Mm. Mm. I'm feeling this hill. Mm hmm. Not taking it out of 16th gear. Gonna do a pull? I'm, I'm taking it out of 16th gear. Yeah. I'm dropping her to 10. I'm only in 14 right now. 12. Peterbilt's is my truck, just to be different, you know, between the two. And I found that the exhaust is much more pleasing. Really? It's like a nice, deep, like, makes you feel like a man driving it. Like, these Kenworths, all you really hear is turbo. You can, st you can see your exhaust note, but yeah, it's... I think if you also change engines too, because there are actually different notes for the engines. See, I think, well, I'm used to the 500 horsepower engine because that's what I have in my, all of my rigs and my, and my other engines. Gotcha. So I'm used to the big boy engine for the So, I don't know, but I, I'm still on quick jobs for my other account, so it, and they're all Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I, I don't know. I don't seem to mind them too bad. They're not as bad as that Ford the other day. Jesus, dude. There's a kid that visits next door. He's got an F three fifty, not a dually. F three fifty, and he put a fucking monster, like almost, almost as bad or as bad as the dually that was on the field the other day. Well, now stuff. he just looks like an idiot not having a dually. <laughs> Right. To put a fucking monster whining turbo on it, a big retard. Those are the kind of trucks that uh, we hear in the parking lot at this park right next to the apartment uh, that will occasionally yell out the window, sorry about your penis.
Or also the the Rice Step Subaru, same thing. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, no, there's a lot that are done wrong, that's for sure. Yeah, fart cam, clamp hmm. done. Ba 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 Adds 10 horse, the box said 10 horsepower. Yeah, right, box said 10 horsepower. Dude, have you seen the um, DeLorean LS that he yes. reviewed? And then he had another one, which DeLorean is best DeLorean? Oh, man. Like, that's the way to do a DeLorean minus the transmission. I would do a different transmission. What was that? It was the original one from Renault. Yeah, no, he's he, he was told specifically do not do a pull in, in fifth gear. Because the transmission would explode under the torque. Yeah, no, it would. Like, if you're gonna do it, you know, build it up. Also, the suspension was stock, which I would not want, because that just means you're gonna be nose lifting any time you put the power down. Yeah. But still, that that's the way to do one of those. Wow. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. There was about six of them. And they, and they patina painted it on top of that. So it was uh, a lot of stuff. I thought I was getting a ticket. It was, uh, it was a pretty sick job. They did a custom, um, a custom hood scoop air cleaner. Uh, like, like it, it's not outside the hood. It's under the hood. Right. Oh. You know, it really upsets me because I don't like any. If it's before 1960, I hate the car. Sorry, that's just how I am. But the 1954 Chevy pickup is 100% unique. The chrome on that front end is unique to that single model year. And nothing looks as good as that. Like, that truck is fucking amazing. That's true. Hey, there's a Ferris wheel. There's a Ferris wheel to the right. Oh wow, I've not seen that before. I've never gone straight down that road before. But yeah, the chrome front end is what makes that vehicle so awesome. And they fucking painted it. Oh man. Yeah, no, it was, it was interesting. It was, I actually found, like, I subscribed to the uh, RCR page, okay. the regular car reviews page. So, you know, I get that, you know, usually up in my feed right away, and then I see stuff, I'll watch it. I think I found the regular car reviews LS DeLorean on some random sub page. You know, I think I was trolling through, you know, some car forum or something, or, uh, you know, Facebook or something. And I, wherever I saw it, I'm just like, you know, reading an article, and then I saw the video attached, like, towards the lower part of the page. I'm like, I haven't seen this one, and I thought I've seen all his DeLorean videos. Oh, well. Watched it. Cool. All right. Got back to my regularly scheduled program of whatever I was doing. Later, opened up YouTube, and then I saw it there in my new to watch page, and I'm like, oh, that's why I haven't seen it, because it was only released three hours ago. I forgot you have to pick your parking spot. <laughs> Mine, mine is automatic to the most difficult. Oh, really? Yep. I still leave it because sometimes there's some places that I'm just like, fuck it, I'm done, I want to go to bed. That's fair. I gotta turn around with that guy. 
then I will uh, give you the space to do that. I haven't even figured out where I'm supposed to park yet. Oh, I'm supposed to get it in there? Yeah, that's nice. How the... Huh? Oh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh, you want me to point my headlights? Please. All right, just a second. What, the sun's not up enough for you? Oh, see, I've got to put it right up against that wall. On the left side? Yes. Do you near, seriously need the headlights still? No, I'm good now. I, oh. I, it was that little rim on the wall. Steel support beams that was free. All right, let's see how bad I can scuff this chrome trailer up. <laughs> they were probably saying, I can't believe it didn't blow up. I need to go into that space that you're pulling into. Oh, you lie. This space? Yes. No. I do not lie. Yeah, so I'm going to wait for you to move, because somehow I need to fit this in there. That's way harder than my spot. I would have gone to be here. Fuck that shit. Yeah. If you own your own equipment, come down and, and drive for us at the San Francisco Port Authority or whatever. Have you ever received an email like that? Yeah, I ignore them. Oh. I thought that was a new update. <laughs> no, that was something they did in Euro Truck. It was trying to get you to uh, get your own equipment. Or if you have it, just be like, hey, there's other stuff to see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I pick up stuff. Mhm. Mm Cause then you could have the trailer match your uh, mm -hmm. your rig. Put some logoing on the side. Shirtless Dave uh, LLC. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.